Hello everyone, my name is Pablo and I'm a filmmaker. Now, the reason I make this video is uh, after two and a half years in film school, I have just entered my capstone project. Uh, if you guys don't know what a capstone project is, is your the culminating event uh, of your degree, right? Uh, some degrees have it, uh, film school always have, and it's basically for film school, you will create a film. Uh, now, this can be a narrative film, what would be like what people see as a movie, a uh, short film, and or you have the option of making a documentary. Now, I chose documentary. I will get more into it uh, in the channel, uh, and the most because I'm dedicating the channel for the next five months to film, to my capstone project. I will also discuss with you guys uh, during that time some of the gears, uh, gear I'm gonna be using and everything, but that's for later on. So let's talk about film school, right? Um, you're gonna see online a lot of people telling you how you shouldn't do film school. Uh, it's a waste of money. And there is some argument to what those people say. So the biggest problem about people getting into film school is film school is very inciting, right? Uh, if you do online or even if you do in person, a lot of times you're going to get a lot of gear from school. And a lot of schools, uh, in the most, for example, like Full Sail University, one of their pitches is they will show you all these equipments you're gonna get for free. Now, let me be very clear, this equipment's not free at all. If you guys look at the breakdown of your tuition, you're gonna have, uh, let me just throw numbers, I don't know, uh, $2,500 per class, and in the end, you're gonna have your tech kit, and your tech kit gonna be all the equipment you're gonna be getting. Now, they don't uh, give you discounts and they don't give you a higher price either. Uh, they're not making money on that, but it's equipment you're gonna need to be able to go to school, okay? To be able to film and everything. And everybody has to have this equipment. Like for example, you do need to have a MacBook Pro, right? What the ones the school gives, the Pro Max, what is about $4,500. Not a computer I would have bought for myself, but if you are working on video editing, what you're gonna be doing a lot in film school, you kind of need a computer like that. So this is one of the things. It, it, people get really excited. They feel um, all this equipment they would never buy themselves is being given to them. It's not being given, you're buying it. So that's a big issue and a lot of people don't know what film school is and after eight months nine months whatever amount of time they realize film school is not for them and they just leave and now they have to pay a lot of money because film school is not cheap film school is probably one of the most expensive schools you can get into so that's a big problem uh, i've seen so many students leaving um, Compared to the number of students I had when I started, there are not many that started with me. They're still in class. So a lot of times you're going to see you have, let me say, it starts the year with five different classes on the same class. And by the end, you pretty much merged uh, the students you have. So this is an issue. So now, what about film school? What is film school? Uh, if you want to join film school because you want to make movies and you want to be behind the camera and you want to, I don't know, be a cameraman, do not go to film school. Uh, there are a lot of classes, there are a lot of schools that will teach you the ins and outs of being a cameraman or women uh, and you're going to invest a lot less money and you're gonna be a lot better as a camera person, right? Uh, lighting, there are schools that will teach you lighting and there are apprenticeships that will teach you lighting. I have a lot of friends that work on that. They did not go to film school and they would have wasted their money going to film school, okay? Now, basically film school will teach you everything to a point. 
everything else, anything more you want to learn, if you want to become really good in anything, you have to go out by yourself and learn. Okay, film school will not teach you that. It will teach you uh, how many points of light, it will teach you how to set up a scene, it will teach you how to fix audio to a point, but it will not make you an expert in anything. Okay, I feel film school, if your plans are to one day become a director, or if you already work uh, in film and you want to be a director or a director of photography or anything like this, definitely go to film school. Uh, you have nothing to lose. You'll learn all areas to a point what will help you to be able to be better in your job. Now, that being said, I have a lot of friends who actually work in film. I have friends who are uh, producers, actors, and they actually think it's a great thing for me to be going to film school. Now, part of the reason why it's so good for me to be going to film school is I have their support. So, for example, a friend of mine who is a producer, I can go to him at all times and ask questions. And I learned a lot more than I learned in film school. Now, without film school, I wouldn't know even how to have a debate and arguments and learn from him because it would have been too much information that I had zero basis. So pretty much film school will give you all the basis to succeed, but it will not teach you everything. Okay, I know I sound to be repeating myself on you not learn everything because you want. And I feel a lot of the students uh, that I started with school in their mind, they would finish film school and be able to direct a $200 million budget film, which is definitely not the case. And usually those are the people that leave, right? Also, a lot of people that will tell you that, you know, film school is a waste of money. They may have heard from other people. They may, they may have seen that online or they went to film school and that did not work for them. Now, like I said, maybe they went to film school with a mentality or maybe they couldn't find a job in the area and they felt they wasted their money and time. What can be the case, but it's just like in job, you can go to engineering school and not be able to get a job as an engineer because you're not a good engineer. You know the ins and outs, you know all the bases, but you can't do the job. Okay, so, and I will say film, it's a much more niche, so it's much harder. Also because an engineer can be, do a project and freelance and do something much more basic with their degree. If you're in film school, um, if you're going to finance your own film, it's going to be very expensive. Uh, even if you have friends, you will have costs. Uh, there's no way you don't. Uh, right now, doing my documentary, I am keeping that extremely cheap. But I know there are costs on that. There's equipment I know I'm going to have to buy. And that's something that I'm actually going to be covering the channel is a lot of times, uh, and I've seen a lot, uh, I have a, I would say, it's a peer, uh, it's someone I, I actually talk more than most people. I start with uh, that person and I, that person's still in school and I think she does really well. Uh, but I feel some of her mentality, she started film school to become an influencer. And you hear that a lot. Uh, I think she has potential, uh, but I feel film school to become an influencer, it's, it really depends what you want to do if you want to make short films for YouTube yeah sure go for it uh, that works but I feel you could have learned in different ways but one of the things I see is right off the bat she bought a DJI uh, gimbal now I know the gimbal she bought uh, it's pretty good and she has not used pretty much at all uh, for a couple of reasons. Gimbals are not light. Uh, I'm actually planning to get a gimbal and right now is the best time 
in the world to get some uh, film equipment uh, if you guys want to learn because a lot of people realize they are not cut for this business and they bought a lot of equipment a lot of this equipment they did not use they bought for something like a thousand dollars at the time and now you can find on eBay for less than two hundred dollars so that's the best time to be a filmmaker <laughs> but no you don't need to go to film school I actually would say if you want to go to film school if you're really sad to go to film school uh, if you're like a high school and but you have not worked in film like your school don't doesn't have a film program um, so you didn't have a chance to do anything related to film don't go right away don't go right off high, high school um, if you're still in high school take some time uh, learn some tutorials some basic stuff trust me if you don't have a path if you don't have what to learn and that's what film school really gives you you learn a lot of things but you're not going to be able to put them together as well. Um, that's one good thing about film school, but it will have, give you an idea what film really is. Because film, I feel a lot of people that get in and they have that mentality, you just go in and you shoot a movie. That's amazing, it's exciting. 80% of the job's boring, <laughs> okay? It is. Um, the, you're gonna have to produce, you're gonna have to pre-produce, you're gonna have to, uh, I'm going backwards, okay, <laughs> you're gonna have to plan, you're gonna have to write a script, you're gonna have to review the script, uh, and then after all that, right, so you plant, you pre-produce, what it takes a lot, it's a lot of spreadsheets, a lot of like busy work, and then you produce what is the cool part where you're shooting, now you have to go to post, and in post, you're gonna have to edit that, and then realize that half the things you shot didn't work because you didn't do a good pre-production. You did not make like a sheet planning all the shots and all the shots, what they would bring, and you feel some things don't work, and then you have to go and shoot again some scenes, and it's, rough now if you have someone to edit your videos great less work for you you just have to worry about reshooting now if you're doing everything like i do every time you reshoot you really don't like your life anymore anyway so the point is uh what i'm gonna be doing for the next five months is i'm gonna be producing my documentary i will not be able to get too much into what the documentary is about, uh, but I'm gonna bring you guys with me so you have an idea uh, how to do all the phases. Now, producing a documentary is very close to producing a narrative film uh, with some difference, and I'm gonna point that out and I'm gonna explain. Um, but yeah, so if you're thinking about film school, think twice, uh, make sure you're not just dazzled with the cool stuff you're going to be getting because at the end of the day, you can get a credit card and buy everything and pay slowly just like you will be paying for film school. So anyway guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, subscribe, like, uh, ask me any questions you want to know about the film. Uh, if you want to know cameras you should be getting, I'm really going to tell you, don't get it. Uh, if you think, uh, just shoot with your phone if you're learning. And if you think like your phone doesn't work, it's not good enough. I'll tell you this. There are a lot of films that got shot with iPhone 7 and, and 8. And they're pretty solid to shoot a film with. And you can probably buy for $200 or less. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate you all. I hope you guys have a good end of the day. And I'll see you in the movies.